Hi students, in today's class what I am going to teach you is how to convert ethanol to propane to all and uh, this question was asked in your CBSE board exam 2019. Uh, students, if you follow my uh, videos regularly, I am going to teach the organic chemistry in a stepwise manner. So each and every transformation how to approach. Okay, so if you watch my videos regularly, you will have a good hand in organic chemistry. Okay, so I will tell you how to approach this problem. See, ethanol to propane to all. So what is ethanol students? Ethane means there must be two carbons. There must be two carbons and O all stands for the alcohol group. So the rest of the valency you have to satisfy with hydrogens. Okay, then to propane to all. Propane means there must be three carbons. In the two position there is an alcohol group. The rest of the valency you have to satisfy with hydrogens. Okay. So, here you see how many carbons are there? How many carbons are there here? There are two carbons and if you see there, there are three carbons. There are three carbons. Okay. So, one thing remember if there is an increase in carbon. So, two carbons has become three carbons. So, if there is an increase in the number of carbon atoms, number of carbon atoms. At, uh, so, uh, there will be, uh, if there is an uh, increase in number of one carbon atom and if you see like secondary alcohol, okay, secondary alcohol or tertiary alcohol in the product, then immediately you have to think about the Grignard reaction. You have to think about the Grignard reaction. Organic chemistry is nothing but you need to know all the reactions and using it wherever it is possible. Okay, in the appropriate place you have to recollect and you have to apply it. Okay, so here what is Grignard reaction? Uh, what is uh, uh, Grignard reagent students? So it is what? RMGX and what is so special about this reagent? Here it is a only uh, reagent in uh, Grignard reagent and in your uh, alkyl lithiums and all your R part will have the negative polarity and the rest of the reagent will have the positive polarity. Okay. So here Grignard reactions when they will give you secondary and tertiary alcohol kindly recollect with carbonyls with carbonyl. So this is an aldehyde carbonyl. This is an aldehyde carbonyl. With this, when you treat the Grignard uh, reaction, Grignard reagent, what happens here? See, I told you this will have a uh, negative partial uh, negative charge and this will have partial positive charge. Partial negative charge and partial positive charge. And here in carbon and oxygen, which is more electronegative students, your oxygen. Okay. So, your oxygen will have a partial negative charge and your carbon will have partial positive charge. So, here what you have to do then react the opposite charges. React the opposite charges. Nothing. Okay. See R. Uh, so, this is your uh, negative reacts with this positive and this positive reacts with, with this negative. Okay. You are going to add this. After addition what happens? Your double bond will become triple bond. That's all. Okay. So, here what will be the product? Your R. Okay. Your carbon. Your hydrogen. Okay, to the carbon, what is going to get attached? Your R dash. Okay, and there is one oxygen. Why double bond becomes single bond after addition? You have added. Okay, so uh, O M G X. Okay, so followed by this, if you hydrolyze with water, your M G X, your M G X will be replaced with hydrogen. That's all. Okay, so here you are going to get you are going to get the secondary alcohol you have got the secondary alcohol here so aldehyde gives secondary alcohol okay so similarly what happens with ketone similarly what happens with ketone you will get tertiary alcohol so you so students you practice this so similarly to this carbon this r dash is going to take play uh, at, going to attack Okay, to the oxygen, your MGX is going to attack. Okay, so followed by this, followed by this hydrolysis, you are going to get, you are going to get the tertiary, your 
tertiary alcohol okay so here there is an increase in uh, uh, carbon atom okay from the starting material and it is a secondary alcohol so secondary alcohol means your starting compound must be your starting compound must be aldehyde but you may think ma'am it is an alcohol so okay so you should not think like this so one more step is involved in it okay so first of all what you have to do first of all what you have to do you convert this alcohol to the corresponding aldehyde how to do this you have to choose mild reducing reagent so kindly recall what are mild redu mild oxidizing reagent sorry students you have to oxidize you have to use mild oxidizing reagent so you can use any one of this any one of this so these are this is an important uh, um, uh one word answer also one word question also so what are mild oxidizing reagents so a mno2 or cro3 or pcc pcc is very important okay so uh, uh pcc can do the process very neatly okay what is pcc pyridinium chlorochromate so any one of this any one of this reagent you can use it okay so first what you have to do convert this all ethanol to ethanol what is this ethanol and what is the common name ethanol is iupac name and what is the common name it is acetaldehyde it is acetaldehyde this is iupac name and this is common name okay you need to uh, remember both then uh, do the grignard reaction so what uh, what carbon is added here the methyl carbon so i'm going to take the methyl grignard methyl grignard x can be bromide chloride iodide it can be anything okay so by doing so what product you will get your ch3 is going to get attached to this carbonyl so followed by hydrolysis straight away i am writing the product okay straight away i am writing the product so you have got propane to all okay so you have to think not in a single step you should be aware that multiple steps could have also been involved okay so i hope this video would have helped you okay and meet you in next video thank you